video is sponsored by Earth Breeze. Previously on Flower Hill Farm. Okay, walk it out with geraniums. All right, so this is where we're gonna start with the red geranium station. These are um, inherited four inch geranium pots. Now, some of them, here's one, some of them have a little bud and this is absolutely gonna be pinched off because we don't need any flowers yet. We want them to concentrate on their growth. Now, geraniums get a different fertilizer than everything else. So this is gonna be on um, basically a geranium feed instead of a petunia feed. All right, she's getting going on tagging and bagging and I'm gonna go fill more pots. Okay, here's my pot filler. Guys, should we give this a name? I think we should give this a name. I always hear you guys talk about the Veggie Boys and how they have the same pot filler and how they call theirs Cookie Monster. So I thought it might be appropriate because they must be related, right? How about near, far, near, far? How about Grover? Hi, babe. Put the stickers on. I actually ordered these last year and just never had a chance to do it. There. Now he has a name. And then he's got a little face one. So I'll put it right here. There. It's Grover. I'm excited. Oh, what did I fall over? Pot delivery. My husband just got here and he brought the four wheeler and the roller. Oh, pfft. because of how wet and muddy it is in the yard, we've put a lot of, of you know, <laughs> damage to the yard. So he actually is rolling it to kind of smooth it out and uh, make it so that it's easier to mow. <laughs> And my dad actually got stuck in the mud over there the other day, so there was a lot. So Brad's got the four-wheeler and the roller, and he did, he kind of fixed this with the tractor the other day, and we added some stone in the front here uh, because it was so wet and there were puddles. It's just a little bit of a low spot. And so Brad is doing the rolling. We actually have a guy coming on Monday, the same guy who did the stone in the greenhouse, to give us a quote to put our parking lot back here. How's it going? Are you sinking in still a lot? A little bit? Yeah. Still really wet. Probably gonna have to do this a few times. But it does work. It does flatten it out and you have to do it when it's wet. Ooh, that was a big divot. You have to do it while it's wet because otherwise it dries out too much and it's not pliable like it is when it's a little bit soggy. I actually do have some plants on order to uh, to get going with the Memorial Garden this spring. And now, more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Earth Breeze. Earth Breeze is your earth-friendly way to do laundry. And with four pets and two kids, I have quite a bit of that piling up. In our house, we've been using Earth Breeze for over a year now, and here is how it comes. It comes in these plastic-free packaging. You just slide it open. And then inside are these, basically they look like dryer sheets, but mm, they're not. They completely dissolve in water. And depending on how much laundry you're doing, you either use half a sheet or a full sheet, which would be two. With EarthBreeze, their flexible subscription plans can be adjusted, paused, or canceled at any time without penalty. For every pack sold, EarthBreeze donates 10 loads to charity. And check this out, they also make tablets for you to clean your laundry machine. Who knew cleaning your washing machine could be as simple as dropping in an EarthBreeze tablet. Okay guys, click on the description and the link of this video for 40% off your subscription to EarthBreeze. Again, that's 40% off. It's earthbreeze.com slash flower hill. Again, earthbreeze.com slash flower hill for 40% off. Thank you to EarthBreeze for sponsoring this video 
and for keeping me smelling fresh. Teenage boy sweatpants? Clean! Teenage boy t-shirts? Clean! Excuse me, there's no privacy in this house. Moon always needs to know what's going on. The laundry room is her room. We actually might get more snow this week and that we have a couple of nights this week in the teens. So it is not anywhere close to being time to plant in upstate New York. Zone 4B. They say we're five now. Two years ago, I had a negative 27 at my house. We aren't five. When Cindy was here the other day, um, she got these gorgeous baskets done. This is a peach grenadine calabrocoa. It's bloomtastic peach grenadine. How gorgeous is that? My mommy's here! Are you ready to work? Yeah, yeah. I brought you some soup so you eat something. Oh, some soup. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Did you see how cute you looked in that video um, when you accidentally put two camos in that? <laughs> that face, I love it. <laughs> Look. Oh my God. I officially Ooh. did it. I just did it. That. I had a maid. Oh, Grover. Near far. <laughs> Mom, have you been in here since the plants came? No, I have not. All right, let's go. Check it out. Come with me and you'll see wow. a world oh of gosh. pure imagination. Wow. You gotta shut the door, Renee. Oh, okay. Hate's not free. These are all of the plants that we have to plant and I want you to do, so I'm gonna have you work in the shade house. All gonna stay in here? So yeah, gonna all hang. these baskets are gonna hang in here. We finished, this is wow. this is what we did yesterday, scooping out the old fertilizer in these. All of these had to be scooped out? Yes, they all had to be oh scooped out. Uh, but we finished this morning and now they're ready to go. Wow, babe, I think I can climb the ladder if you need me to do that. Nope, nope, we, um, we're not ready for the baskets to hang yet. We okay. still have to finish the irrigation. Um, but as long as they're on the floor here, one of Brad's things he's doing today is cleaning out all of this stuff so we have the floor space to put everything on that side. Because right now, mm -hmm. there's still soil and pots and that so old fan. So we can make something out of them. Yep, so it's just a lot of moving stuff around before we can fill the space up. But he's supposed to do that partially today. Okay. All right, so mom's got the impatience and these pots are already filled. So you can go ahead. We're gonna get the tags for these first. How's it going? Yeah, Ones yep, so um, Brad's gonna go get Axel shortly and then Axel's gonna move all these baskets into oh. greenhouse number four because just... that's where they're gonna go. Okay. Uh, so you've got these little babies. Look how cute they are. Very nice, very nice. Making the room. Oh, good, yeah. Me. Ma, where you see two of those tags, could you push them down? Because yes. they're really flop, flip flopping away. Flip flopping away. These, oh my gosh, look how pretty they are, Ma. Ooh. Yes, I'll take those. Yes, I'll take them. So um, I'm going to set them down over here where these need tags. Okay, okay. okay we got a begonia table, a table of just begones. Because he likes to say it, right? Yes. What are you doing? I'm going to do red, white, blue. Okay, so we're doing... Red geraniums, white geraniums, and then we have a variety called Darko Blue. I actually don't know what color it is. Oh, a is there a tag? Let me see. Yeah. I put it right on the... It's kind of a lavender. Oh, okay. Yeah, Darko Blue. So we'll have a red, white, and blue in here. So we actually have more red geraniums in this, but if I actually put out all the red geraniums that I ordered, we would more than fill this side of the greenhouse. So I decided only to do a couple hundred in here and then we'll keep the rest of them in the big house and bring them up here as needed. Oh, the atrium's full of baskets as well. I might have to water these today, I have to check. But these, oh yeah, they need water. These are the Cool Wave spreading pansies. They're really taking off. It just started groppling. It's like little hail specks grapple i'm done with the double impatience and now she's starting on their flats so there's six packs of cocktail whiskeys but go oh six packs of begonias <laughs> that was my bluetooth speaker saying goodbye oh. my battery must have died uh, i want to show you guys how absolutely adorable these plugs are let me walk around here mm -hmm. look how cute ready oh. 
Oh my gosh. That's so tiny. They're so little. <laughs> so these are the size that, oh my gosh. <laughs> these are the size you get so for the six yes. packs. I use these huge six packs. They're extra large, so I only fit six in a flat instead of eight. And that is so the customer gets a bigger, healthier plant instead of trying to squish them into the smaller six packs that have like eight six packs in a tray. Uh, Axel's moving baskets here. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna help mom out by de-plugging. Is that Sean? Mm -hmm. He's the Grand Marshal? know that that's her boss Sean oh, wow cool so Veda's boss at the ice cream shop is the Grand Marshal of today's St. Patrick's Day parade oh I want those sunglasses tell him I want those glasses I think a chopstick would have worked oh, you know what I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get something I think will work okay I got a little stick Let's see if this works better and I got a tray for them to just fall into. Yes. Is it working? Yeah. Yes, good, 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 good. Because these were hard. Okay, we have six flats of this cute little cocktail whiskey begonia. They're white in color. So we've got six, six flats of six packs. So well, now <laughs> we're gonna go get the two other colors that I have um, and we'll fill this table right up with the six packs of begones. We only planted half of this tray and then in a couple weeks we'll plant the other half. These were two that were loose. But in a couple weeks we'll plant another round so that we'll have more for the later customers. It's succession planting. She's still working on these geraniums. I am gonna start watering them in uh, because the soil is pretty dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the hose on and get these babies watered. Replenishing supplies. That's more geraniums. starting on the next tray of begones she's already got some filled this is weird some like they're square and then round i never noticed that before so these are the nightlife pink it's snowing. have at it i know it's snowing. it's snowing it's snowing the sun is out and then it's cold and the wind's whipping and it's all sorts of weather today this is basically march in upstate new york yeah but we got used to the nice weather we did we got spoiled we're putting together some geranium flora pots with some lobelia, some coleus, and some calabrocoa. Lots of options to choose from. Okay, this is where we're putting the geranium pots for now. The fan, it's, the sun makes it real hot in here, so you're hearing the fan, sorry about that. So these are the pots. So some of them have red calabrocoa in the front with some white lobelia, and then we've got white petunias and German ivy in some of them as well. I can't, I still can't believe the amount of geraniums. This is the wall of geraniums, guys. This is crazy. I may have mentioned this in a prior video, but the reason, last year I had the geraniums in greenhouse three. This year I'm moving them to number one, and that's for a couple of different reasons. They are what a lot of people are looking for, number one. And number two, a lot of my customers, they had a hard time making their way back to number three. In an effort to make it more user-friendly with the plants that they want, I moved them to the first greenhouse so they didn't have to walk all the way back to greenhouse three. Okay, now for the fun stuff, I've got these big gray pots and now I get to figure out what to put in these. Lots of options. I'm thinking maybe some of these that will look gorgeous with the gray pot. Maybe some of those. And definitely Prince Tut. This is Prince Tut. It don't look good right now, but it will look good. So here's one of the plugs and it grows grass and then it has these little sparklers on the top of them. They look a little bit sad now only because of shipping. They will recover, like look how bent that is. I could actually cut this all right 
here and it will recover and send out new shoots from the bottom as it's already doing. See little baby ones coming up that will be perfect. So I'm probably gonna cut off the bent stuff and plant them and wait for them to come to life. So this will be the centerpiece. They grow, the Prince Tut is the smallest in the Tut series. There's a queen and there's a king. So the Prince will only grow to a maximum of about 18 inches. Some people say they grow higher than that, but the average is that. So we're gonna put that in the center and we're gonna put some fun things around them. But first, I have to go make sure that I'm done watering in the big house because this guy right here wants to turn the water off and he actually wants to blow it out because we're gonna get down into the teens over the next few days and we don't want the water lines to freeze. So in that case, we are going to blow out the water lines and make sure that we don't have any damage to our new beautiful facilities that Brad so professionally plumbed. You're a pro. Plug trays. They dry out really quickly. I was just in here, you can see where I just watered, but these baby plug trays really do dry out fast, but I don't see anyone who's thirsty. Those are the half begonia trays mom planted just a little bit ago. Okay, well, let's look at the stuff in the way back here. Um, I don't really see anyone who needs to be needs a drink you know what i'm gonna water the coleus pots they look a little dry and that's it and then you can dry and blow it out okay so i'll just be like two minutes all set this basket's looking so good oh sweet velour this angelonia it's gonna get so big the dichondra looks beautiful oh this was one of the most popular baskets last year Ooh. So one of the tasks that I had um, Brad and the kids do while they were here was hang all the baskets that they could. So we are at maximum capacity in here. That's exciting. Oh, we still have baskets on the floor that I wasn't sure. I didn't really count as we were um, moving them in here. So those baskets will have to get moved. Well, I mean, not necessarily. They can grow on the floor for a while. They'll get moved into the new Rimmel as soon as we have all the rest of the drip irrigation finished. So it's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. I'm actually going to just fill those gray pots with some plants right now. And then I'm going to take off for the day because it's, uh, it's 4.30 on a Sunday. We've been here all day. I'd like to go home, cook a nice dinner, and then relax. Maybe watch a movie with the kids and uh, hang out with the fam. So... But March, April, and May, they are chaos in this industry, and I'm here for it. And like it or not, so are you. I don't really know all the details, but this is how Brad blows the lines out of water. Um, this is the fourth, this is the fifth, oops, let me turn around. That, the new blue line, that's the water line that goes to the fifth house. And so he's got um, the orange tubing connected right here. And then that is like an air compressor, pneumatic thingamabobber. And um, that's how he clears the lines. Well, that's about my pay grade. It is the next morning and I am here. I was just editing, but I had these pots that I hadn't finished yesterday. Who the heck is this? This is not mine. I don't even know that. This must be, oh, I know whose that is. Anyway, I have these pots right here and I just put a couple ingredients in them. I wanted to let you guys know so then we can watch them grow up. So I have this coleus in the middle. Um, let me see which one it is, stained glass velvet gorgeous this gets up to 36 inches tall so I have that in the middle and then I have a black petunia on either side a yellow calabrocoa on either side and then a couple German ivies in the front just for some spillage these are gonna be I think gorgeous the combination and the contrast really love the trim on this uh, velvet 
it's kind of ironic because this looks like velvet and this is called velvet. So let's watch these puppies grow up. Geronimo! This whole thing. Geraniums, 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 geraniums. Oh my gosh, there's the Elegance series. Oh, the Martha Washingtons. And these are geranium pots. Good morning, guys. I'm actually editing this video right now and I'm missing the clip where I finished these gray pots. So you guys saw me putting in these King Tuts. Oh, sorry, Prince Tuts. What I decided to do was I did this gorgeous, I think it's called Iconic Purple, and then a Lobularia, which will be beautiful over the front, and then a Purple Sweet Potato Vine in the back. So that's what I did with these. And then I did do some that were not purple. Let me go find that pot. With this one, I did four or two crazy tunias, two of this beautiful, really vibrant pink Kaler Brocoas, and then a couple sweet potato vines on that as well. That'll do it for this video, guys. I'm gonna head home and spend some time with the fam. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you soon. Fern, give me some space. Some space, please. Willow, I need some space. Oh, this is not space. This does not qualify as space. <laughs> Come on, girls. I haven't been gone that long. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs>